We are continuing to talk about the 2023 NFL quarterback Come draft on, baby. class. Look it up. Okay. We've talked about a lot of these guys so far, but we're going to keep deep diving. And, you know, maybe you're not familiar with all these names, or maybe you, you do know them, but you just want to watch yep. another video about them. Today, we are talking about Anthony Richardson, Sheesh. a.k.a. AR-15. This is definitely one of my favorite quarterback prospects in this class. I have him ranked higher than a lot of other people. He's obviously at Florida in the SEC, mm -hmm. 6'4", 236 pounds, huge body, redshirt sophomore. Last year, the, stat, the stats, excuse me, are really, they're not going to blow mm, you away. Yeah. Uh, he was not the starter last year, though. He was very, he was used very interestingly, brought in and out. Emory Jones was really the guy there. Um, but we're talking about someone who's a four-star recruit. He is from Gainesville, Florida, so he is a hometown kid. Yeah. If Florida Gator fans want something to excite to be excited about, this should be the year that you're probably more excited than any other year. This is a, a, a real dark horse team to make the college football playoffs. Now, it's going to be very difficult, but it's a real dark horse team to do that. Agreed. Last year, played in seven games, but he only started one. So he's only started one game in his college career thus far. And at this moment, with Anthony Richardson, it's really more about what could be than what we have seen because he's not been a starter for a season just yet. So we're going to talk a, exactly. a, a lot about the upside, about the potential, about what he could do in the NFL if he has a successful season here at Florida, because this is someone I think could be a top 15 draft pick. If things really go his way this year, he could be one of the biggest risers in the NFL draft, but mm -hmm. straight off the bat, anything you want to say about Anthony Richardson, we're going to talk about strength weaknesses. We're going to look at some film and then we're going to do some player comps and, uh, talk about where he can land in the draft. Yeah, I mean, for me, I like Anthony Richardson. I think there is a lot of things that need to go right for him to be successful um, in the NFL, per se. I think he has, and I guess we can go into the strengths here, because really what I want to say is that I think he is a gifted quarterback. He is probably one of the most gifted quarterbacks in this class. Physically gifted yeah. when I say that. You know, he has the size, the arm talent, uh the body, he has everything possible. Did mm -hmm. we see that on film? No, cuz he really only started one game. You know, we have I'm going to show you some stuff that yeah. I, that we that we saw. And and, and we're going to yeah, we're going to show you, we're going to get excited about it, but I think it's very minuscule and the hype is massive off of for me, at least for me, the one game, because I'm not as high as Zach with Anthony Richardson, but there is so much potential. There is so much of I can see how Anthony Richardson could be amazing coming into the NFL. I don't want to put I don't want to get too excited just yet because I don't want my feelings to get hurt <laughs> because I know if, if if he's not successful, I know Zach. I mean, just like anyone that you believe in. You can get hurt, you know, like you, you, not when I say hurt, not I mean, a, like not a relationship. Not yeah, worried not hurt. About being hurt. I guess like disappointed because like, you know, they have the potential and you sure. know that, you okay. know, anything can happen. But so why don't you tell us about some of your concerns then, if you're concerned? Yeah. So what are on, the concerns, honestly, there's just for me when I was watching it, he just needs to improve in a lot of a lot of areas. You know, the arm power maybe is just too much um, for his own good, which is I think that's something which is a good thing. So if anything, he needs to improve on his touch, his deep ball passes and his quick passes, in my opinion. I also have seen points where he's not necessarily reading the defense at the best to his ability. And I think also, again, all these things are going to come with time with reps on the field. So maybe I am nitpicking and trying to to look at hone on these things because we really only saw one true game, one true start from him. So for me, needs to improve on reading defenses. He needs to okay. improve on uh, his touch, his touch passes. Uh, but he has tremendous, tremendous poise in the pocket, in my opinion, and it can go on and go on. But sure, yeah. So I, I know you have a lot to say. Started one game, but he played mm -hmm. in seven total. So there's more yeah. than just you know one game of film on for him. Sure. And um, you know, let's talk about. I'll, I'll say some of the things that I liked. He had, he does have incredible pocket poise and presence, mm -hmm. and. I would kind of s disagree with some of the things in, in the sense that I think he is a very smart quarterback. I think he has high IQ. I think he has a great ability mm -hmm. to read defenses. Anthony Richardson, outside of, I think, C.J. Stroud, I noticed, at least on some of the plays I'm going to show you, he's able to go through four reads on one play. 
for sure and still stand in the pocket and find the best possible um option on on the play so i think he has a high iq you know what's difficult if you're constantly being thrown in and out of games you're not ever going to have any rhythm so for sure to me i think a lot of things that you're talking about is going to come with experience it's going to come with an entire year of being the guy in the off season of you know having the rhythm of being the starter of constantly being in the game not being pulled left and right but anthony richardson incredible arm um you know, he might have the best arm strength in the class. He might. If not, he is top three in the class mm-hmm. as far as his arm strength alone. Um, accuracy is definitely something that he needs to work on. But the IQ is is really high. There, there's a, a really high floor here for Anthony Richardson this year at Florida. Um, above average as a runner, like mm-hmm. he can extend plays with his legs. He almost has like that Cam Newton type body. But the best thing about Anthony Richardson is that he's far better quarterback than he is a runner. I mean, this isn't someone that you're bringing into the NFL and you're saying, man, let's hope the arm can can get there. No, this dude's arm is already NFL arm talent. Right. So um, outside of CJ, I personally believe that he has the highest upside of any quarterback in the class. It's obviously, I can understand where you're coming from. You haven't seen it yet, but... This is what happens with college football. You, I mean, for sure, no one saw CJ last year, like before last year. So, it's it's hard to like um to to see to you know believe it without seeing it. I guess for for a lot and I a lot of people and I understand that, but um I think he's going to be the biggest riser in the draft this year. Last year, obviously, there are some clear weaknesses. You know, only started one game, so he's inexperienced. Had an interception on seven point eight percent of his pass attempts, but you have to keep in mind, guys, that he was used in some very interesting ways. He yeah. wasn't used as a traditional quarterback. So he didn't have as many pass attempts. He wasn't in the natural flow of the game, used in and out of, in situational football, really. So I think, you know, there are some clear weaknesses that he needs to improve on, but he's at a disadvantage from some of the other people because he doesn't have that extra year of experience in his belt. So I can understand the concerns from a lot of people, but we're going to look at some film now. So the first play I'm going to show you is from the LSU game. They're both, both of the clips I'm showing you from the LSU game, which is an, an incredible game, by the way. If you want to watch one single game, I would recommend the LSU game for Anthony Absolutely. Richardson. Yeah. This game, I think there's a hundred combined points, if I'm not mistaken. It's a barn burner. It's back and forth. It's a close game. Lots of touchdowns, lots of action. There are four reads, okay, that Anthony Richardson is going to go through. His first and second read are at the top of the screen. Mm-hmm. His third read is his tight end. And then his fourth read and the eventual player that he's going to throw the ball to is the receiver at the bottom of the screen. Okay. And he's going to process all of this in real time. But the first read, you're going to kind of have like a hesitation comeback, trying to fake that we're doing the go route. And really our job is just to sit at the line of scrimmage. And if the defender moves off of you, you have, you know, open space. The second read on the play, we're really doing a fake chip here okay right on this defender the goal of the fake chip is to bring the cornerback up to have him bite as if it's going to be a screenplay to the first option now the reason you want the cornerback to bite here is so you can then hit the go route and then you're you're past him you're saying laters brother Later, yeah, I, I completely done ya. And the <laughs> hope for Anthony Richardson on this mm-hmm. on this play is that his second read is wide open and the cornerback really has bitten on the play. Yeah, exactly. His third read, the tight end is just doing kind of a seam route over the middle of the field. His fourth read is doing a go route. Okay, towards the right side of the field. The the running back in the backfield is doing a play action to a flat. That play action is also accompanied by the left guard who is doing a rollout block and, you know, kind of just really to sell the play action again. Yeah, exactly. You got these two linebackers here who who bite on the play action. And you can see this is a, this is really is a beautifully designed play. At first, you have the first and second options. Could be a screen play. Could be, you know, the cornerback could bite on the fake chip. Then you can have these linebackers who bite on the play action, which could leave the tight end open. Fortunately, he's covered really well. And then fourth, you've got your your wide receiver at the bottom of the screen here with one-on-one. Because when we see this bite, you're going to see the safety 
come to this side of, of the field here. So again, beautifully designed play here um, versus LSU. Unfortunately, we just don't have the touch on the ball. We don't have the rhythm to hit because it's not a question of arm strength with, with Anthony Richardson. Yeah. So I'm going to let you watch this play. He's processing this all in real time. Okay, so play action. And already in the play action, you can see a couple things are happening. Okay? We're about to see the, the comeback here. And you're already kind of seeing the fake chip. Defender does not bite. You're seeing the linebackers bite on the play action already. Okay? And right now, you can see Anthony Richardson. He's already. He hasn't even gotten the ball yeah. out of Damian Pierce's hands. He's already looking at his options here on the left. He's reading this all in real time. It's not there. Fakes it. Now he's looking at the middle of the field for his tight end. His tight end is not there, but his fourth read, the wide receiver at the bottom of the screen, has a one-on-one, -on -one, so he pumps it to him. And unfortunately, just oh, outside, yeah, man. it's just outside, just outside. It is it the perfect. receiver's fault? Is it the quarterback's fault? The whole Don't play know. Was... You can see the... Yeah, you can see the potential. You can see um, the IQ on this play yeah. for Anthony Richardson. But again, I think with time, with experience, when you're in the game, when you know you're the starter, it just gives you a confidence that you can't have when exactly. you're coming in and out of a game. Yeah, I mean, um, such second, a good play. Or yeah. just a good, almost good play. <laughs> but yeah, it's an incompletion. But everything but you there. can see yeah, so all, many, so so many strengths from him on that play. All right, the second play I'm going to show you here. Um, this is a completed pass for a touchdown, <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. Another great example of patience, pocket presence, his ability to look through multiple reads, and the NFL arm. It is. It really is special for Anthony Richardson. All right, it's not too complicated of a play. It is third and 10, okay? So we need at least a first down. We're down right now by seven points right, to LSU right. in the fourth quarter. It's third and 10. Um, we need to make something happen here. So the X wide receiver at the top of the screen, he's going to be running a go route. And I believe the defense is not playing man. I think they're playing zone coverage, okay? So everyone has their zones here that they're trying to cover. So it is not man. And that's why you're going to see this receiver able to slip past that first defender on the play. So the slot wide receiver is running a steam route in the middle of the field. Again, we need to get to the first down marker here. You've got the Y who is running a go. Um, he's kind of, yeah, I guess it's a go route. It's like a hybrid go route as well. Then yeah. you have the tight end who is running a flat to the outside. Okay, so tight end is going to be open here, but is the tight end going to give you enough yardage for a first down? Probably not. You got four rushers on this play. Everyone else is in coverage, okay? Right. Everyone else is in coverage. Got a lot. Uh, it's heavy coverage on this third and 10, and why wouldn't it be, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you're going to see AR look left. Nothing's there. He's going to look over the middle. Nothing's there. And then his third read, this is an absolute dime to the receiver at the top of the field for a touchdown. So we're going to watch this unfold together. And it's a 45-yard pass for a touchdown here. Okay, so again, everyone's in coverage. None of these, you know, linebackers are rushing here. We're all coming back, okay? Um, and you can see already Anthony Richardson is looking at the field. He's looking at his options. He knows it's thir third and 10. Looks left. Nothing's there. Looks right. Now you can see him looking right. He's looking at his, he's looking at his uh, running back in Damian Pierce. But he knows this is third down. This is not going to solve our problem here. Yeah, yeah. And now he throws a beautiful ball, just an absolute dime for Jeez. the touchdown. Um, let's look at that throw one more time. Look at this 45-yard throw mm -hmm. for the touchdown. Fourth quarter, down seven points, and exactly where it needs to be. It was necessary. This is the upside of Anthony Richardson. He does have the Cam Newton body. But his, his arm talent is already in a place where Cam Newton's could never have reached because of his God-given ability. So those are the two plays I wanted to show you guys with Anthony Richardson. I really enjoy watching him, and I think he's going to have a huge year.
Yeah, I, I definitely – it's definitely interesting. I mean, those two plays, especially the first one, is something that I was looking at because I was like, oh, man, it was such a good play. He he did everything well. Just the touch was just outside. Yeah. Um, oddly enough, my play is, is actually very similar. Uh, when I okay. say my play, I mean, like, I guess the way the – the routes and everything and the thought process of the play is actually very similar. So I don't know if you can, if you guys can see my screen now, but this is, this is the play. So this is my good play of Anthony Richardson. And basically kind of what Zach was saying in his play, you have to get this guy kind of does that fake chip and then does the out like that. Because he is going to fake the screen. He's going to fake this wide receiver screen. He's going to hesitate. And then he runs up the field. He has his tight end here, runs up the field, really simple. He's going to do the fake RPO with his other wide receiver tight end coming in. They're all literally going to run the same route. This is all they're going to do. (laughs) That's all it. But what he does, but instead of looking to his left first where these guys up front, he looks to his right, and he goes through all these three progressions, right? He goes through one, two. Obviously, this would be two, and then three once again. I am not the best in drawing. I'm trying my mm-hmm. best. It's all love. So mm-hmm. he goes with those b- progressions. It's yeah. not there. He realized the guy here in the top of the screen does the fake chip, but the DB buys it, releases him, yeah. and he goes straight for that first down. It's a really simple play, but it, it's exactly what I was, what, what I guess maybe Zach was trying to show about his touch and what it can be when mm. he's actually on, right? Sure. So you kind of see this, and the pocket's perfect. So he goes, he does the RPO. He's already, he's looking. He kind of has his eyes here already. He's looking to see if these guys are open, right? Mm-hmm. And all once again, all these guys are going to run down the field, give him the option. And you, I don't know if you guys can see as well. This is You see how the, the guy chipped up here? That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. But he's thinking this, this wide receiver, he's going to throw the wide receiver screen right after this RPO, but that's actually not the case. He stands in the pocket. He's looking. He's He went through. Now he's at his second one down here. He's going to go to his running back. He's going to give him a wave, and then he turns. And on the top of the screen here, just outside the screen, you can see that DB already releasing that wide receiver, and he's going to be wide open. Okay. Wide open for that. And the fundamentals, the the mechanics is all good. I mean, look at his feet, and then look how he turns. He 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 does a little QB hop, I like to call it. I don't know the, the correct terms, but I, I, I love the way he does it. Boom. Wide open. That's the easy that's the easy first down. Yeah. Takes super, the easy play. Super it, simple. You know, exactly what the defense gives yeah, him. Super simple, super easy. A very easy first down. Going through the progressions, wide open play. Uh yeah. that's exactly what I like about Anthony Richardson. The arm strength is there, just like you've seen. And this is a play, this is a play I I didn't like. And this is where I believe he can improve. Is in the yeah. decision making as well. I didn't say that earlier, but the decision making, I believe, is something that he can he can do better. You have the talent, you have the speed, just run away, you know. Sure. Like, and this is where the offensive line kind of breaks down. Number ninety nine does a crazy Aaron Donald move on these two guys here. He gets free, and then essentially it, it results into a, a, a income. Uh, excuse me, uh, interception, right? So just to break down this play. These guys are kind of going to run a route like this. And then these wide receiver, this wide receiver is going to go down. So he has these options. And this wide receiver is just going to run a straight. Right? The uh, the line breaks down. This is this is where the problem is. But, I mean, when you got given ability, I, th- I believe what you can do here is the pocket breaks down. He could He could easily collapse. And this is what you're going to see. Anthony Richardson is going to continue to draw back. And then what he what he could have done is easily ran out. It's probably a little bit harder, and maybe the decision-making could have been better. Uh, or him making that decision to run out of the pocket could have been better instead of throwing the interception. Obviously, they were down in this game a lot. They were going back and forth, and that was a crucial, crucial time for them to yep. try and get this first down, to try and, and at least give him another opportunity to have the ball but he throws an interception. Okay, once again, it happens really fast. He snaps the ball. And then, see, number 99 already threw it, but he's not seeing it. He's already looking down the field. There's still so much room on the top of the screen here where he could potentially run. 
But at the same time, this guy, this right guard here is also going to get done, right? Right. He's right. also going to um, lose the opportunity in that defender right here. So now he's still looking down the field. This is where you run. Mm. And it's a little bit, once again, a little bit difficult. But look at all this room here. Look at all this space for him. Once again, this is probably tough because of this DB being these guys, literally all three of these guys being in his face. But, you know, with your speed, even if he does like a little Lamar speed, you know, Lamar spins and he kind of he can kind of break out to the well, other side of the field. I mean, he's not got Lamar's a loose. He don't yeah. he don't got it. But I mean, you could do something like that. Do a nice little spin. And once again, this is in game. It's really tough decision. Quick, quick decision. He has his eyes down the field and he's probably not looking what's in, truly in front of him because he probably thinks he has time. And then it just results into an interception. He he literally throws the ball across his body on the other side of the field here. And then, yeah, once again, decision results sure. into an interception. But it's a terrible decision, but look at how he flicked it uh, yeah. from his back <laughs> foot. Yeah, 100%. What was that, like maybe 40 yards potentially? From the 25 to the, to the uh, f- almost the, the 35. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the arm talent is there, and there's no doubt about it. But I would love in those decisions. And sure, once he, it's a and, terrible decision. Yeah, and, and like you said, he doesn't have the Lamar elusiveness. But you use your legs. This is, sure. you know, that's that's the second part of the game here. Boom. Run out of the pocket. Give yourself another opportunity to look down the field. Yeah, it's a bad decision. And then, you know, go from there. But results into an interception. Yeah, well, those are a couple of plays we wanted to show you guys. Obviously, yeah. some strengths, some weaknesses. Let's see if, you know, with the full opportunity, the full year, if he can really develop his game. Um, just quickly, let's talk about two things. Mm-hmm. First one is who he can be in the NFL. Um, Cam Newton, his size is, is really yeah. reminds me of, of Anthony Richardson. It's definitely And there. also the kind of historic rise that Cam Newton had before Cam Newton's last year, in college, it wasn't really considered by anyone to be a first round pick. Right. But he had a pretty historic year when he was able to give him the, give him the chance there at Auburn. Um, and then Dante Culpepper, I think, you know, as far as like being a pocket passer, I think Dante Culper, he's got a little bit of Dante in him as well. So those are the two guys that really stood yeah. out to me. Yeah. You know, the, the two guys that stood out to me, the one I was thinking about and the one that I said was Lamar. It kind of reminds me of Lamar coming into the, to the season you know, into the NFL. Not that teams don't believe in him. It was still a lot for him to prove. Even Lamar was the last pick in the first draft. I can see a route like that going for Anthony Richardson. Lamar has the arm talent. Lamar had the 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 legs, the, I guess, the dual threat opportunity, where I think is the same thing with Anthony Richardson. Lamar okay. is a little bit more polished, in my opinion. Um, but that's the one I can think of. But that's a high praise, for sure. Super yeah. high praise. That's interesting. I didn't really see much Lamar in him, to be honest. Just like he's not that runner, in my opinion. Yeah, and I, don't I think, think he'll he's ever not the be that kind of. He don't you know, think he'll operate like Lamar. In the you know NFL. the play that I thought that you showed. I don't know if you remember, um, like one of the first plays. I think it was the first game of the season for Lamar. He was standing in the pocket and he throws a bomb to Hollywood Brown, and that was the first time I was like, remember when they blew out the Miami Dolphins? That first yeah. play that you showed. Sure. It kind of reminds me of like how Lamar, he just sits in, the, he was standing there and he just right. threw the ball with ease. And I think yeah. that's what it was. I think it's the arm strength as well. I think Lamar has tremendous arm strength. So, sure. Yeah. No, that's, that's fair enough. Um, all right. So he's my quarterback four. Mm-hmm. My quarterback six. He's your quarterback six. So let's mm-hmm. see. Um, I am personally someone who thinks if things go well, I mean, he obviously needs to prove himself, but. We could be talking about him as a top five pick in the NFL draft. Why don't you guys let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below of Anthony Richardson. Let us know what you like, you dislike, if you believe in him, if you don't. That's fine. Let us know. Yo, what's good? What Thanks up? for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos. Watch now, it. You can also subscribe. Right now. If you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm-hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.